morning, YouTube family. How are you? I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. I hope everybody's well and happy, ready to start their week. I had enough rest, but I'm still tired. I just need an extra day. Thank you guys for just staying too. Thank you guys for the buses. There's buses. There's city bus because I buy city hall. So um, I have about 10 minutes before I go into work. This thing this week is about color. Um, we're going to be learning about different, using different crayons, different toe pads, different um, paints, and it's just different crayons I think I'm going to use. It may be Thursday and Friday on my messy days, then I will do that. But right now we're just going to do a slow build up, do some color songs, and call it a day. So right now I'm just going to say good morning to you guys, nothing big. I'm all right, I'm alive. So, all my life I've been told that I'm a good, I'm, I work well with children. Obviously I graduate and I love what I'm doing, but I went to church and my mom was saying to me, you know what, I, you know, just prophesy that you are just meant, your gift is to work with children. My pastor said that, you know, you just keep hanging on and keep teaching these children. There's some days where I just want to quit. There's some days where I just, don't want to deal with children all day. It, is, it makes me question, is this what you want to do? Regardless how I feel, this is my dream. This is what I've been hustling about. This is what I've been, all the sleep, the weight gain. I have gained 20 pounds in school. I have gained, um, and it's just some days where it's just, you just need two people to work with children. You need about three people to work with children. It just sucks when I'm by myself. 11 kids my classroom is the last class to get all these children in there so what I'm saying is you guys follow your dreams don't get discouraged keep pushing through take a day off or two get some sleep like see my eyes I'm sleeping but I'm not sleeping you know it's like I'm keeping my eyes open and I'm ready to wake the alert a lot enthusiastic but you have to keep pushing on regardless of you want it even though this is not my dream job but it's a stable income right now what my family needs and for me to start saving up just a tiny bit it's hard to save when you have bills and you're helping your parents out just a teeny tiny bit and you have just when you have to supply your classroom and it's hard to do it on the dime they just have to be creative because it's like I feel like my circle is not I feel like I'm not receiving the knowledge to the kids but I have to just hush up as long as you hear the kids, oh, that's purple, that's blue. I did that, you know? You know, it's like parents implement it, but it's like you as a teacher, they're learning songs, repetition. You know, you feel like you're not hitting the money. The kids love it, you know? My kids like art, so I just said, you know what? Last week was all about the reptiles. They, I just was obedient, and the Lord put in my spirit. Science. So I was like, okay, they, they're interested, and we're going to have one more week. And... Wednesday, the laptops go away, and then I have to reintroduce something in, in blocks. I'm closing the blocks today because that caused confusion because I'm the only teacher in the classroom. So, to help myself out, to keep them engaged, dramatic plays open, um, table toys open, writings open, and also the, the stencils are open for the stamps, and, um, and also the our new activities is open. So, they're just efforts are more. They don't want to sit. These kids want to go, go, go. So I have to, like, okay, my kids are just, I explored everything. I'm done. You know how some kids, you give them structure, they just they just do it really quick. I'm done. Now what's next? I'm like that, too. So I'm like, okay. So what can you do now? This is where you explore. This is where you're supposed to engage. This is where you're supposed to have fun. Sometimes these kids just want to run the show. No. So my problem is, like, before, my problem is for the last three weeks, I've been just, uh, we come in from outside, they just go get their lunches and just call it a day, but they're supposed to wash their hands. My new thing is, they line up, they sit down, and I call two friends at a time. Now we have three or four friends who don't want to listen. They go in, and they want to get up and walk away. So what I'm going to be doing now is having one child one at a time sit on the table and don't touch nothing because I need structure in my classroom. I don't like that, but every child needs guidance and redirecting. So, this is my update. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing well. We're exploring colors. 
and hopefully I'll show you guys my curricular box. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.